Hallelujah. God hunters versus Ponzi shrines. Ponzi shrine. <laughs> why yo churches? Why yo bloggers? Why yo platforms? Why yo mosques? Fake miracles everywhere. Beside our water everywhere. No Navdak number. Not to talk of Holy, Holy Ghost number. Not, not sanctioned by Holy Ghost. Just go, come and buy this water. This water, with it, you can drive away demons. With it, you can become a governor. Mm. They are deceiving you, brother. <laughs> one guy, one guy in Nigeria just went to, went, <laughs> went to blacksmith and they made keys for him. And he brought it to church. He said, that has the key of David. <laughs> you people can come, you come and buy this key. When you buy it, you can open any door of uh, break to break. <laughs> and guys, we are going to buy them. And we'll charge you 100,000 for one key. He said, if you buy two keys, you open two doors. Key of David in Nigeria. Key of David. That key is spiritual key. And it's only one. They went and multiplied it. Ponzi shrines. They went and multiplied it. Went to a blacksmith. The guy molded keys for them. And they brought it. And he went again and brought some stones. From one, one, one hill around his, his house. Brought them. In fact, he wouldn't even go. He would send some gullible ones to go and bring stones. Bring, 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 bring. He wouldn't pay them up. And they wash the stone. They pack it somewhere. So we are going to sell these stones. Each stone represents the stone that uh, David used to kill Goliath. Come and buy one. One, 200,000. It depends on how your Goliath is. Somebody said, my own Goliath reached 20. It's okay. You have to buy 20 stones. Five. One. One Goliath, five stones. Another Goliath, 20 Goliaths. So five times 20. <laughs> 100 stones. And then you buy them to 200. To 200 uh, Naira or to 200 pounds. And you stone, stone. He said, go to one place. Go and come. I begin to, we we'll begin to stone. They, what they are doing in Mecca, they are doing it now in churches in Nigeria. Nah, that, oh my God. These Ponzi shrine operators, they don't have shame. He said, come and stone Satan. And I saw two global clowns stoning one structure they made again with, uh, with uh, all these, all these uh, uh, tin can made uh, pants. They stoned it in the stone. Ah, on a sand dune where they buried one charm that were turning their heads around. Once you step into that place, you lose your senses. And whatever they ask you to do, you do it. Because there is a charm under that, that sand. A buried charm, not even one, two, three. And they link you to marine power, marine spirits that will be tormenting you in the night. In the night when you sleep, you see demons chasing you. And then you come and buy more stones. And then they will go and buy some aircrafts. And then they will come and bring some of them to come and share to people. Go and use that money. And then you'll be seeing different dreams. You can't live in peace anymore. But may God help us. Verse 12. The spoilers are come upon all high places. Through the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour them. Devour them from the one end of the land, even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. No flesh. You see, why there are troubles here and there? Some people are saying, oh, with your church is everywhere. Why is it that there are still problems here and there? This is the word of God. But the sword of the Lord is against the land. No flesh will be at peace. They will flog you from the north central. They will flog you from northeast. 
They will flog you from southeast. They will flog you from northwest. They will flog you from south south. They will flog you from southwest. They will flog you everywhere until you submit. And then your eye will clear. Then I'll use the politicians to deal with you completely and summarily so that you can become powerless. And when you make noise, they capture you like they captured Showare this morning. Capture you straight to the prison. And then you will be there to... They, they, they want to show clemency. Clemency in quote. They don't want the people to say they are good people. Aha, uh -huh. some people praise that. Oh, you have released Showare for us. You are a good man. In fact, you are our man. After all, Nambi Kano is still there. Oh, you are a good man. <laughs> they will do that. Why? Because all of you must share from the pain. God said, because you have forsaken me, the whole land will be without peace. A cup of gari today may be 3,000. If you don't repent, <clears throat> just wait. He will not kill you. Then a cup of gari will now be, by the time he says for 50,000, you are looking for where to jackpot to. You will not escape. God will make sure that these guys will seal all the borders. And before you escape, he will tell you, go back and complete what you started. After all, you are the ones that started it. You are the one that carried your legs to these places and the, you, the, the curse has come upon the land. You can't run away. You see? The beasts of the field are coming. The politicians are like the beasts of the field. They are coming to devour and not to save you. And God is saying, yes, show them pepper. Until they repent, I will allow you to oppress them until they, they submit. To the will of God. And some people say to the will of Allah. <laughs> oh my God. These people. Let me take you again. To Psalm. I mean. Let me take you to. 17. Let me take you to 17. So that I can close. I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 17 I want to read from verse 1 The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with a point of a diamond it is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars while if their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills I think you are going back to your Omenala, your indigenous religion. Go, go don't worry. <laughs> God, is, God is waiting for you there. <laughs> Look at, he said, let me read it again. The sin of Judah, the sin of those ones who have, who claim to be our fathers, who claim to be our brothers. You remember Judah and uh, Jacob and uh, the, the, all the sons of Israel. Judah is one of, of the sons of Jacob. Remember? And this man called Jacob, he had one, how many? He had 12. And Judah is the one with power. And he says the sins of Judah, they are the ones living in the present Israel, Israel, where they are, called Israel in the Middle East. Starting from 1948, it was made a nation. These are the people of Judah. The other 11 tribes are still scattered here and there. Some of them are in Nigeria, some are in, you know, different nations. You know? The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron. When something is written with iron pen, it becomes indelible. It can't be wiped away just like that. It only takes the blood of the lamb to wipe it away. And that is why 
because they did not accept that Jesus is the Savior, is the Messiah. It is difficult to be wiped away now until they accept it. And with the point of a diamond, it is graven upon the table of the heart and upon the horns of your altars. While if their children remember their altars, <laughs> that is their shrines. Their altars are called shrines and they are grooves by the green trees upon the high hills. Oh, my mountain. What does God mean by mountain? That is the church of God. Oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the what to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders. Wonders, they say, shall never end. Have you wondered why? All this why there are still battle upon battles within the borders of Israel? Within the borders of Judah. It's because of what they did in the past. How they rejected Jesus Christ. As the Messiah. And he says, okay, this thing is written in what? In diamond. And with a what? With an iron pen. It cannot be wiped out. Until God is satisfied. We deal with them until he's satisfied. <laughs> Do you want to join the league? To be dealt with, or do you want to be free? It is better you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior today. Even the people of God, those that are called by his name, Israel, the Prince of the Most High God. These guys are in trouble for rejecting Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. And you, you are here. You had the opportunity. You still have the opportunity to repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And you are there telling me you are going back to the grooves and to the altars and shrines of your father so that you can continue with your iniquity there. Don't worry, God will meet you there and show you fire. <laughs> he will show you fire. By the time you are enjoying those animals you are killing, like only as a Jesus, somebody will just come and pick you up. See, today they are looking for only a Jesus. I don't know if they have seen him now. In the name of Jesus, this guy is going to a river, collecting animals, collecting things on behalf of Jesus. And eating it, taking the war, the name of God in vain. I say, you don't worry, I will do a day shift for you. Go and do whatever you want to do. If they shoot you, a day she won't work. Okay. Now they carried him in his own car. I just pray they don't kill him. <laughs> we are doing our father's work in the name of Jesus. After all, Jesus is, is, is there. We mentioned the name there. They will, they will go to, he, will, he, will, he will strip men and women naked and ask them to bath. In public, and he will be videoing them and showing to the public. And sometimes he will pour blood, kill animals, kill goats, rams, cow, pour it on their head. Say, man, I suffer. Eh? Swashing bad luck out of their head. <laughs> now, bad luck, bad luck met him on, <laughs> on the road. <laughs> <laughs> these, these boys, uh, they are very funny sometimes. Why are you going to carry somebody who does a day shift for people? Who makes people disappear when, when bad things will happen? The man didn't disappear. I've been a disappeared. <laughs> I'm back. I'm tired. I don't want to make people laugh. Please subscribe to this channel. Please, I beg of you, subscribe to this channel. Share this message. Comment, and it shall be well with you. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to. Somebody, somebody say, this pastor, you're always laughing. You are not ever, you are not serious. My brother, my sister, the serious people are in the mortuary. That's where you guys, the serious people. 
I'm still alive in the land of the living. And Jehovah Nisi is still behind me. <coughs> the Almighty God is still a lamp unto my feet. I cannot stumble. You cannot stumble. Your weak shall be blessed. You are going out and you are coming in shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God bless you.